An asteroid spotted late last year is now being carefully tracked by scientists. They're trying to work out whether there's a chance of it hitting Earth. And if so, what can be done about it? Well, Rebecca Morell is here with all the details. Hi there. Thanks, Clive. Well, there's still a lot we need to learn about asteroid 2024 YR4. But what we do know is that it's estimated to be between 40 and 90 metres wide, and the date it could hit is the 22nd of December 2032. Now, that chance is very small. It was thought to be 1.3%, but that risk has gone up to 2%. But scientists say, don't panic. We talk about collision risks with these things a lot, but maybe it's better to um, think about the avoidance risk or the avoidance probability. And that's actually still quite high. So there's a 98% chance that this object will not hit our planet. And maybe that's what we should keep in mind. The increase in impact risk is something that astronomers expect. When an asteroid is first spotted, we're still learning about its orbit, and the asteroid could pass through anywhere in this red zone. It's called the area of uncertainty, and it's large, but the Earth is in it too, but the risk is low. As we get more information, that area of uncertainty of where the asteroid might be shrinks, but now the Earth is filling more of it, so the risk is higher. But as we know even more, the area of uncertainty shrinks further, hopefully to a point where the Earth is outside of it. So there's, the risk goes to zero. Now, astronomers are trying to find out as much as they can, but time is short. The asteroid's currently moving away from the Earth. After May, it won't be visible again until 2028. So they're using the most powerful tool they have, the James Webb Space Telescope. This will tell astronomers the precise size of the asteroid and more about its orbit. It's crucial information should we need a plan of action. Although we may not be certain that at the moment this asteroid is going to hit, if it is going to hit, we know exactly when that will occur. And so we know what we need to do, for example, if we just want to evacuate an impact area, or in fact, if we have enough warning time, as may be the case for this one, we can actually mount a deflection mission NASA has already tested a deflection mission. It crashed a spacecraft into another small asteroid and successfully changed its orbit. But don't worry, we're not at that stage yet. Astronomers will continue to monitor this space rock. Clive.